lovelies. Let's start crafting. Make it till our eyes smile, I like to say. Today's video is part of Lini's Shabby Tuesday. And joining me this Tuesday is my friend Jamie at Simple Roots Simple Living. She has a lovely, wonderful channel where she shares so much inspiration for you all. Please go check my description box for the link to her video and to her lovely channel. And tell her Miss Crafty Lini sent you. Now let's begin. I'm going to be taking off this raffia bow along with that tag and we're going to start using uh, apple barrel, territorial beige, matte acrylic paint by plaid and I'm just going to paint the whole entire pumpkin. So now I'm going to use folk art home decor wax and it's in the white wax and it's also made by plaid and all I do is put a little bit on a napkin and then I just start spreading it all around my pumpkin and I just keep wiping and then I go to the other side and then I take some off and then if I want a little more as you see I add a little more well it looks like a lot more right <laughs> but you just keep rubbing it in there you can leave it however you want it I always say what make it till your eyes smile it is your project it becomes yours you put your own signature on your diys that's what makes this so much fun so you just keep adding and rubbing off and till you are happy with what you have i love using this it just gives it that shabby feel and the shabbiness, the shabby beautiful is what we are looking for. I do around the outsides of the edges just so the pumpkin stands out a little more. It doesn't get lost in what we're doing. I say get lost in what we're doing. <laughs> the hole on top of the stem, I suggest filling it in with some of that Dollar Tree spackle and that will fill that hole in the top of that stem of the pumpkin I just did not have that on hand yep shame on me and if I did I would have filled in that hole now what I'm doing is I love Dollar Tree rub-ons I love their stickers and their rub-ons I think they're getting really beautiful ones to choose from and I absolutely feel these are so easy to use so what I did, this was a spring one, and I just cut out on the top the word spring. I just cut that right out. I mean, I just cut that part out. And then I just placed this on there. I really loved, I thought it gave it a shabby feel, a rust, not a rustic to me. It's just it gave it a shabby, beautiful feel to what I'm doing. And I love the butterflies, the jar, and the roses, and the leaves. I love all of it. <laughs> I thought it was very pretty. So now what I'm doing is I'm just going to scratch it right onto my pumpkin. And I didn't put it anyway. I just laid it on top and just started rubbing it on there. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's what I love about Shabby Beautiful is you want it to be shabby. <laughs> now when you're doing this, don't just Pick it right up. I never do. I lift up a little bit, see where it needs more. And because sometimes not all of it does come off the first time. So you want to just lift slowly and check. And then if it's not, you have some parts of it that's not rubbed on yet, you just put it right back down and just rub those spots. So now you've seen me take off. I, there's a little word that said spring and I did not want spring on there because I wanted it to be a fall and autumn decor piece. So I just kind of scraped it off lightly and then I went with the white wax and just went right over it. And after I did that, I went over the whole thing with the white wax. White, white, <laughs> Sorry, the white wax. And I just went over it one more time, just very lightly. So now we're gonna be using the home decor. It is folk art by plaid and it's called Barely Pink Chalk Paint. And we're gonna paint the entire wreath. I got this wreath here from Hobby Lobby. I love going there getting some of the wood 
cutouts because they have so many selections. The varieties are, I don't know, I just find a lot more there. So I do enjoy getting them from Hobby Lobby. And plus, I love going there. Don't you? God, I just love it. So now I'm using the Waverly Chalk Paint in the color Moss by Plaid. And I, as you can tell, I'm dry brushing. I dip my brush, just the tips of it, and I'm just putting it on my brush and dab it on the napkin and then start all around my wreath. After I'm done doing that to my wreath, I put some glue just on the top of the stem and on the bottom of the pumpkin. I add it to my wreath form and press down. So now what I'm going to use is the Folk Art Home Decor Chalk Paint in the color White by Plaid. And all I'm doing is same thing, dry brushing. And I'm just gonna do, I'm trying to do just really the tips of the leaves. And I just keep going around until like I always say again, my eyes are smiling, my heart is singing. And that's when I know, okay, it looks all right to me. It looks good to me. I go around the pumpkin on the edges of the pumpkin again because I do want everything to blend and stand in. I want it to stand in, stand out. My goodness, I cannot talk today, right? Whew. So now I'm getting my Mod Podge and I'm just going to put a layer of that on my pumpkin and on the wreath. So now I'm adding these leaves and it's, I always, I don't know, when I have floral things and there's leaves, I save them and I use them for different projects. So just use what you have. And I just put some a leaf on the top and I glued in the t top of my stem where that, oh, where that hole was on that stem. Yeah, that's where I put it. And now I'm getting some for my shabby beautiful i'm going to use some of that burlap i cut in half and then i got some strips that i have from material and i just rip them and then to the size i want and then i add them together and then i tie them all together with another strip of material glue it right there on the top after I did that, I got a little piece of scrap lace that I have, and I just put it right there, slanted in the middle of my bow. I love my silicone makeup brush. Save a nail. Don't burn that finger. <laughs> and now I'm adding one of my little beautiful buttons. I get these at Walmart, and it comes in an assortment of different buttons, and I love them. I was a little angel and I put that in the middle I also put a leaf on the other side and I only did one leaf on the other side of my bow and I tucked it under I added some of these beads or berries I call them beads but they're berries from Dollar Tree and I put I spread them apart and then I just put one in there and then I took another one apart and I took a few of them and just put them different places on the other side. Because when you see sometimes a tree or a plant and they grow berries, you'll see like a bunch of berries together and then you'll see some just in different places. You know, they're just hanging out on their own. <laughs> This is my favorite part, my favorite, favorite part of when I DIY is when I put the embellishments and using your imagination and where you want things to go. I don't know, it's the vision that we love, right? We get that and we, hopefully it comes out the way we want it to. <laughs> so now I'm getting these berries and I'm just putting them in different spots. I add one here, one there, two there. Yeah. 
no certain way. It's just to whatever makes your eyes smile and makes your heart sing. And that's where you put your berries. You could put two, three. It's totally up to you. Oh, I love the way this is turning out. It's just like a really beautiful fall autumn feel. It's cozy. I don't know. When I look at my projects, I think of things and this is the feel I get of cozy autumn fall. And I love the neutral colors. So pretty. And then a little bit splash of that pink on that wreath with that green. Oh, gorgeous. So now to hang my wreath, I'm just going to use this. It's a piece of material and I just cut it in a strip and tore it. I, I just put a little snip on my material and then I just tear a piece and that's how I get the strips. And I'm just going to put it through the leaves up on the top. Really simple. Pull it through and I'm going to double knot it. And there I have my string to hold my wreath up. To hang it now you can trim the excess off or you can just leave it because it's to whatever you prefer remember it is a shabby beautiful so if you want it to the strips in the excess to hang you can if not trim and there you have it oh beautiful I love the neutral colors in that splash of pink like I said, and with that green and the greens of the leaves, just gorgeous. Beautiful, shabby, beautiful. And that little angel button with that little bit of lace with those berries. Love it. Thank you so much, lovelies, for joining me for Laney Shabby Tuesday today. I so appreciate it. If you're visiting me from Jamie's Simple Roots Simple Living's channel. Thank you so much for stopping on in. I hope you enjoyed what you've seen today and subscribe. I would really love for you to be part of my Crafty Lini World family. Please give this video a thumbs up. It helps my channel grow and it also lets me know that you enjoy what I'm doing. It was my pleasure crafting with you today. Hugs, kisses, and fairy dust wishes. Lovely, stay blessed, be kind to yourself and others. Mwah. I'll see you in my next video.